hello guys so this is my first video showing myself so we talking to a camera because I've decided to what the heck life short in it so this video is about my fair share of experience of the illness that hurting us hurting everyone and main reason of this pandemic thing so uh, I just want to share uh, what happened to me day to day I'm on day seven now but I can say that I'm fairly better than compared to the first day so I'll run through the first, the days that I had and the symptoms that I had and what I did to recover fast and so uh, on the 24th January 24th I was working the whole day and it started uh, during the afternoon I felt really weird like really tired I just wanna I was working I'm actually a nurse working in a hospital catering to COVID patients probably that's why oh I got that so I was feeling weird I just want to finish the shift so once I finished the shift I checked my temperature and I got the temperature I sent a sample I did my swabbing I what I mean is I did my swabbing and then sent it for COVID testing and good thing is we got a kit given by the hospital uh, for a quick test so I got home and I did that test and I actually took a video of it so I'm gonna add it to the video so I've um yeah, so after the test, I tested positive. On the first day, I got temperature, body aches, and cough. Body aches was crippling body aches. It's like generalized body aches. You, at first, you think it's like flu, but it is not. It's, it's harder, I guess. My case was in a mild mild case so I can stay at home and deal with it you're on the mild case you just have to deal with the symptoms and be relieved with the symptoms until after a few days you'll get better so you may think it's like just a flu but it's really worse than that so I got the temperature body aches and cough the second day the 26th still got the temperature woke up with severe pain headaches and there's pressure on my eyes like it's gonna pop out and on the third day I woke up with a very bad sore throat like it won't make me sleep because of the pain still uh, having on and off temperature and body aches so I uh, and during this time I was taking paracetamol drinking lots of water and even if you're feeling so weak you have to try to eat something just to regain your strength because if you continue not to eat then uh, the virus will take over I took antibiotics uh, disclaimer guys if you're taking antibiotics you need to ask the, uh, this needs to be prescribed by a medical doctor on the day four I still got the have a headache body ache and sore throat to still have head uh, pain in my eyes with much pressure so most of the days I just sleep um, on day five got a really bad bad colds so even if you think you're getting better you're developing more different symptoms 
by each day but the cuff and temperature are the most consistent ones and also the headache uh, on the day five I also lost my taste sense of taste and day six I uh, still got the a dry itchy cough low grade and uh, breathless got no smell no taste and uh, also having my sinusitis flaring up so this is day seven and I think I'm better feel better than the first three days the first three days are the very hard so what I did is uh, it's really difficult to push yourself if you're feeling all these body aches but you have to move around at least 10 to 15 minutes a day you have to make sure that you are having plenty of rest but also try to incorporate a routine waking up same time every day have good meal um, drink lots and lots of warm water tea coffee and try to walk around <clears throat> uh, also steam inhalation helps really helps you can put it in a container and then just inhale all the steam coming out it really help helps with the clog of the nose and uh, what else rest drink plenty of water um, eat eat very well eat even you don't have taste I pretty much eat lots and lots of fruits that's most I ate because I really don't like heavy heavy meal uh, just make sure that you eat uh, something that is easy to digest of the easily digested and uh, also do deep breathing um, a friend sent me a video on how to take deep breath so one two three four five <sighs> breathe breathe out do it five times and at the sixth time you breathe in and then cough it out <coughs> then try also to lie down on your tummy put the pillow on your tummy and lie lie flat because uh, the main organ that is affected is the, your lungs and you just have to help it inhale more fresh oxygen to circulate to give more circulation in the lungs so it won't clog any phlegm there and uh, one important part is to the self-isolation especially if you are in a shared house I live in a shared house so I need to stay in my room one part that will be totally affected is uh, also your mental health not your, your physical health but your, also your mental health so it's very important to have a good support call your friend call uh, text your Text your family, send a message, do video calls. Uh, everybody needs support, especially during these difficult times. So yeah, that's it. So if you like the video, please subscribe, like and comment down below. And if you want me to do more videos like this, Please do tell in the comments and I will do more. Take care of yourself and stay healthy. Oh, ho, ho. 30 minutes done.
but I guess this is false positive. Damn. Oh, damn. Just had my wash. What to feel? Oh. Here goes nothing. <laughs> <laughs>